Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Game, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the ignition car bomb in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So I have this Turismo R that I want to go ahead and get a ignition bomb for so when someone gets in my car and i don't want them to they're gonna go ahead and blow up so let's go ahead and go over to the los santos custom location this is where we can go ahead and get a car ignition bomb so let's press options on my map now let's go over to this location and press x and then we have a gps location to it so an ignition bomb will pretty much go ahead and blow up someone when they go ahead and start the ignition on my car. All right, now go to explosives under this list. And once again, I'm gonna keep in saying this, you cannot modify your car after you put an ignition bomb on it. So let's select X on this. And it says, are you sure you want it to rig this vehicle with explosive? You will no longer be able to mod this vehicle. Press X on this and the item was now purchased. Now let's back out of this menu and then try to bait someone with this vehicle and see if they jump in it. Let's go over to where some players are or even back to my apartment. Now you do need to have pass mode off and allow vehicle access to everyone. So here's my vehicle and here are some players on the map. Let's see if they go ahead and jump in. Now storing the rigged car in a personal garage, changing online sessions, leaving and re-entering the online session, by participating in jobs or activities will disarm the installed car bomb with no compensation. Therefore, such vehicle will be able to be customized again in Los Santos Customs. Okay, it looks like someone just got out by my vehicle. Are they gonna get in? Nope. Another thing is if you are in passive mode, the vehicle will be destroyed, but the player jumping in the car will not be destroyed. So you gotta make sure you are out of passive mode. And the owner of the vehicle is the one that will have to pay for the insurance deductible when the vehicle is destroyed. So this can be quite pricey on your part if you are destroying your own vehicle. Now it looks like I wasn't able to bait anyone with this car bomb in this session. But if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos related to Grand Theft Auto 5 Online coming up next on Your 6 Gaming.